Praise the Lord. Amen. I greet you all in the name of Jesus Christ. It is my prayer that we encourage ourselves in the Lord. And before many things, let us have a word of prayer. to escort our sister John. We will have a short word. And after short word, there will be the viewing of the body. And then the MC will give us a way forward. Praise the Lord. Our, our readings will come from the book of uh, Psalms. Chapter 46. Verses 1 and 2. Psalms 46. Verses 1 and 2. The Bible says, God is our refuge and strength. A very present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear. Even though the earth be removed. And through the mountain, though the mountains be carried into the midst of the sea. Though its waters roar and be troubled. Though the mountains shake with its swelling. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Come and behold the work of the Lord. Verse 10. Be still and know that I am God. 
will be exalted among nations. I will be exalted on the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Praise the name of the Lord. This is the word of encouragement to each and every one of us. That today and this morning we have a refuge to learn to. And our refuge as our family and friends is our God. My friend, if you can hear me, God is our refuge and strength. There are issues that come to our lives that take away the strength of our feet. They take away the strength of our hearts. And they take away the strength of our mind. But we have a refuge. We have strength. And this is our God. If you feel it this morning, there is strength in God. If you feel as though you have been left alone, there is a refuge. What is a refuge? It is a place to run to. When you have nowhere to go, there is a place to hide for the sake of your safety. This morning, we have a safety, a safe place that is in our God. Praise the name of the Lord. Our God is our refuge. Our God is our strength. He is a very present help. He is our help. So we are not helpless. We have help. And our help is our God. Praise the Lord. Our help is our God. And Bible says, He is always present. He is never absent. For those who go to school, whenever you are in class, when the register was called, you were answering present because you are there. When you are absent, when you are not in class, others were saying absent. God presence is present with us. So God is with us. Be strong because we have God. Praise the name of the Lord. The Bible says because God is our strength, because God is our refuge, because God is our help in trouble, we have a reason not to fear. Hallelujah. We have a reason not to fear when we have God as our refuge, when we have God as our strength, when we have God as our help, it is enough reason not to fear. So please help me. Tell your neighbor, don't fear. God is with us. He will strengthen us. He will help us. He will hold us. He will help us to stand. After this, a storm. God is with us. He is our present help. He is saying, be still. Be, uh, and know that I am God. I will be exalted among nations. I will be exalted on earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So we are not alone. He is with us. So be strong. We are not. May God help you.
mahali imewekwa msipite hapo tutasimama on left kutoka hapo tunaenda 4 km tufikie mahali tunaenda na mwenye hana gari ama hana transport kai tu tukutane pale na mtu ako na space asiende kabla tujajaza magari tafadhali si ndio au driver yake hana ribbons ziko hapa gari yake iwe kwa ribbon asante asante namba 071 Eight fifty five, very nine three. Zero seven two one, eight fifty five, three nine three. When you have a car, you can buy it. Sign in, you can buy it. Transport. Kapraja, Kujawa. Nani? 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 na mwenye yako na space kaidwe atu assist jua tuna transport atuna gari za matatu tunataka tu hizo watu uko nazo tujaze watu tutafanga hivi kuna watu wakatodo wako na gari tabaza kujeni mtu wa mbaya hana gari transport ndio tena era bodo tare gari akuje tu kaidwe
asifiwe Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Ah ni wakati mwingine ambapo Mungu ametuwezesha tumeweza kufika kwa amani kutoka KU hadi hapa tunashukuru Mungu. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Ningependa kuwakaribisha pali aha mahali hapa panaitwa Mirira. We are in Moranga East sub county. Gekindu location Mirira sub location. And so may God bless you for coming. May God uh, bless each and every one of us for becoming pillars in this time when we needed you most. I do request that we start immediately because of uh, as we honor the time that we have. And we're going to have an opening prayer from our sister known as Lea Mburu. Please, wherever you are, Lea Mburu, please come so that we do pray. Then, uh, Tuanze. Kwa jina la Yesu Christo. Thank you. We come this morning, we want to thank you for the gift of life, the gift of one another. We want to thank you for this day when we are gathered here so that we can give uh, our daughter farewell. Dear loving master, we want to thank you for the safe journey you have been given to each one of us. We want to thank you for those who have come from all the way from Bomet and uh, others from Nairobi and those from Thika and various parts of our country. We want to thank you and give you praise for this safe journey. We want to invite you this moment in this gathering as we bid farewell to Joanne. We want to pray that you may give courage and peace to the close family members and to all of us. We want to ask you to be with us for the time we are going to be here. And we pray that you'll be able to do what is expected of us and to do your will. We pray this believing and trusting in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you so much. My name is Pastor Samuel Mungai, and uh, I'll be your MC for this one. If you that off or four, we have security enough, we have policemen, and we have people who have been designated to take care of our vehicles. So wherever you are seated, please feel at home. On my left, far left, we have our 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 restrooms. Ama upande wangu wa kushoto kuna vyumba ambavyo vimetengenezwa vyaweza kuhakikisha tumekuwa hapa bila kusumbuka. Kwa hivyo the first red red and grey ones they are for ladies immediately thereafter we have a black cover imeandikwa gents. Ukizunguka hapo nyuma and we have people who are going to help you in any case of need. Na, uh, another thing is that we have brethren uh, together with us from uh, the Ministry of Health and they have uh, th that is the first aid desk. Pale ambapo there are four uh, uh, helpers who we have today 
or uh, brethren from the Ministry of Health who are going to be with us. If you feel any pain, if you have a headache, anything to do with health, please waone. Na pia wamenyelezea, wamekuja na vitu vingine tofauti pia wanasema wako na vaccine ya COVID. Mtu mwenye kupata, anaweza pata na booster na mambo yote. Yote ambayo inahusika na afya wamejitolea kuwa hapa siku ya leo. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Basi mda huu ambao tumefika ningeomba kutoka kwa uh, team yetu ya praise and worship tupatie him number 3. Him number 3 kwa eulogy ambazo tumepewa geuka nyuma kabisa. Song number th- number three, cha kutumaini sina. Please let us all rise. Amen. Cha kutumaini sina. Ila damu yake bwana sina wema ya kutosha dhambi zangu kuziosha cha kutumaini sina ila damu yake bwana sina wema ya kutosha dhambi zangu ku Kwake kwake Yesu nasimama ndiye mwamba ni salama ndiye mwamba ni salama ndiye mwamba ni salama kwake kwake Yesu nasimama ndiye mwamba ni salama Diye mwamba ni salama Diye mwamba ni salama Damu ya kina sadaka Na tege mea daima Yote chini ya kisha Mokozi ya tanitosha Damu ya kina sadaka Na tege mea daima Yote chini ya kisha Mokozi ya tanitosha Kwa kesu na simama Diye mwamba ni salama Diye mwamba ni salama Diye mwamba ni salama O kwa kesu na simama Diye mwamba ni salama
kama vile ambavyo tumehubiriwa pale ama tumetiwa moyo pale Kenyata uh, ya kuwa bwana yu pamoja nasi bwana Yesu asifiwe bwana Yesu asifiwe geukia jirani yako mwambie bwana yu pamoja nasi nena ongea na mtu just talk to someone tell them the lord is with us the lord is with us we can have our seats in jesus name thank you praise and worship we are getting into another juncture and that is in the form of speeches we have family that is being represented by Catherine and Jui please Catherine wherever you are make way to the front so that you may give your speech Catherine and Jui if you're together with us oh she's come oh thank you thank you she's coming let's have her mic let us encourage ourselves the bible says in the book of psalms that the Lord is more closer to those who are broken hearted and so the Lord is with us today. Amen. Catherine you're welcome. Uh, God is good another time uh, and particularly this this uh, this afternoon because we are just a few minutes to I'm saying I, I had, had said good morning, but I am sure now we are almost at, at noon. And we really have a cause to thank God for the Father that He has worked with us. And more so for our family from Bomet. This is the this is the, the the Lord's doing, having given you a safe journey and having worked with you for the last few few weeks, a few days. This is who Nimugu CCC. So mine, uh, on behalf of uh, Akuhe's family, uh, loss is a loss, but we have a hope that Mungu emwenyewe ana to prepare for something else. So uh, sad as we are, we are saying this is the Lord's doing, and uh, we really thank God because to Konanyini, you've given us support, you've worked with us, and I'm sure we shall still work together. But we thank God because we know there is a future that, uh, that God will carry us on. Uh, for the time we've stayed with Joan, it has been a blessing, a blessing indeed, because Mungu uh, and I can assure the, the family from Bomet, she is in safe hands. She is in safe hands because si uh, sisi ni wazazi na kila mtu ako na mtoto mtoto wako ametoka ameenda mahali nawe umepokea yule amepokea ni mtoto wako she is in safe hands and uh, trusting god we shall have one day to say this is the lord's doing many times we think it is our ability but uh, ni mungu mwenyewe anatupatia nafasi and for our friends, the people from this, this area, we really thank God for the support you've given us. Uh, and we really trust God that we shall walk together. Mine kusema tu, Joan is in safe hands. Ako mkononi mwabwana. Nae bwana metupatia yeye na mtoto to walk together. Sidiyo, she was in safe hands. And even in her absence, sisi tunajua tukona familia, and we thank God. This is an assurance I would like to give. We have a family in Bomet. Sasa watu wa Bomet, mukiwa na vitu ya Bomet, tuko pamoja. Tuko pamoja. Na si zida ya kusema na mdomo, tuko pamoja. Si we are saying this before, before God and everybody else. Sasa tuki, watu wa hapa, tuki, tuki siraki kidogo, tusahau Bomet. Tumeswea leo ati bomet ni kwetu. Nani hapa kikuyuni, hapo moranga, hapo moranga ni kweni. Sindio, mungu wako najia zake za, za ajabu ya kuextend boundaries. Ametu extend 
Bible there is. So mine is just to, to give you an assurance, all is well, all is well, because we trust a mighty God. So on behalf of the Karanja family and uh, and the, the sibling, Tukakuhe and Joroge uh, uh, and his wife, the whole family, uh, God is still on the throne and he will take us far because he is a mighty God. May God bless you. Even as we fellowship, may God continue taking good care of us. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Let's applaud her. Let's ju just put your hands together and, uh, and appreciate our sister Catherine. We have our team from Bomet being represented by Philip Rono. Philip Rono, please make your way to the front so that you may give your speech. Thank you. Njambole. Njambole. nafasi hii. Kwanza kushikuru mungu. Kwa fila ametuchalia kwa hii muda yote tangu hii mambo itoke. Mpaka saisi tuko hapa. Tukifanya mambo ya mwisho kwa msichana wetu John. Kwa family ya upande huu. Nasema kutoa shukurani sabu kukusema pole kwa hiyo liyo tokea. Hata ngawa hii kwa mapensi ya kila mtu. Hakuna mtu alikuwa na jua jua nitafika wakati wake. Lakini kwa hiyo hote tuliamini. Hatukasema. Tushirike mambo ya choa. Miaka ya choa. Fule mungu wa meamua. Najua ngekua, upa, ngekua tunajua Juan hata, hata haka siku fulani Tungechukua nafasi ili kusema Tuombe mungu file nani alipo ambiwa Kwa naitu wa nani Kuna... Isakia Isakia wakati alitu, kuna Zahia alitumwa kwa Isakia Haka ambia Isakia Siku sako utakufa Ansa kupanga kwa familia yako Juu utakufa Nasi kama tungejua hivo Lata tungeenda kuambia mungu, tafata tuongeze miaka karibu kumi ya John, ili ya siti tuwe, tuwe pamoja. Hata wa sina mambo la kusema, nasema tutu meshukuru tena kwa kule matukaripisha, nafikiri mambo singine utaongea padae. Ama ni aje? Asante. Majina Asante. sangu ni Philip Rono, kutoka Bomet. Thank you. Thank you. Let's, let's put our hands together for our brother Philip Rono. Even as we continue to encourage ourselves in this time, we have Jami Telecom Limited being represented by Irene Irene Kamau. Irene Kamau, wherever you are. Irene Kamau, Jami. Jami Telecom Limited. Thank you. Bwana asifiwe tena. Ah, uh, mimi ndio naitwa Irene. Kwa na mwenzangu Patrick. Na tumewakilisha na watu wa jamii tafadhali pale mko just wave at us so that we can see. Hao ndio watu wa jamii ambao tulikuwa tunafanya kazi na John. John alikuwa mmoja wetu, mpendwa wetu sana tumesherekea mambo mengi na ye hata hivi karibuni kabla ya kuaga kwake tulikuwa tumesherekea tukitarajia bibi na sina mengi ya kusema isipokuwa kusema tu tumempoteza mpendwa wetu sana na tutamiss sana hata wakati huu hatuja hatujaamini tu bado tunaendelea kujipatia moyo na kujipatia nguvu kwa familia ya Joan uh, mama mzazi na watu wote kutoka Bomet tunasema ni pole sana pole ni sana Mungu endelee kuwafariji kwa familia mpya ya John Steve mama baba na wapendwa wote tunasema pole sana na tunataka kuhakikishia hii sio mwisho ya safari yetu na John sio hapa tumemalizia na John bado ni mpendwa wetu na tutaendelea kutembea na nyinyi kwa wakati wote mkitaka usaidizi mkitaka ushirikiano wa aina yoyote sisi tutakuwa hapa kushirikiana na nyinyi asanteni
Thank you. Thank you, Irene, for being strong, for Jami. Telecom Limited, we do believe that Joanne's legacy will live on. Uh, before uh, Pastor Albert comes, even as he prepares to come and speak on behalf of AIC, uh, Church, I do, uh, I'd like to say this before I forget. It is that uh, on behalf of our media service, we have a drone that will be flying over us. Sometimes it's a little bit harsh to see something fly over you with a lot of noise that you had not prepared. So let me prepare you a long time before. We will be having a drone that will be flying over your head for the purpose of uh, bringing the pictures to those who are not able to be with us today. So kisikia kitu na piga kelele ju, especially later tukienda pale pale chini, kwenye shimo, they are also going to use it. Please be informed that we have a drone together with us. Please, Pastor Albert, uh, please come and represent AIC Church in Jesus' name. Karibu. Asante sana. Uh, Ombolezaji wote wa lioko mala hapa. Jinsi ambavyo mmesikia, mimi naitua Pastor Sito Nick Albert. Imeokoka Kristo ni buwana ina udumu katika kanisa la Africa Inland Church uh, Bomet kanisa ambalo linaitwa AIC Kimolwet ambapo wazazi uh, wa Joan pamoja na family members ni washiriki katika kanisa lile uh, natoa pole zangu na natoa pole pia za kanisa rambi rambi za pole na jambo ambalo ningependa kusema ni kwamba uh, mikono ni mwangu uh, jinsi ambavyo tuliweza kupata tuko na program ya nini funeral service alafu at the same time uh, kuna ka program yenye niko nayo tena hapa na hii inaongea kuhusu uh, siku ya harusi uh, kuna watu fulani ambao wali 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 walika wali watu katika sherehe ya harusi sisemi ni kina nani kwa sababu amwajui lakini nataka niseme hivi uh, kwa sababu kulingana na kitabu cha mhubiri mlango wa tatu, kuanzia mstari wa kwanza biblia inasema ya kwamba eh, kuna muda there is a season for everything every program i'm very sure when we go through the eulogy of our late sister there is a time that she was being born and uh, there was a celebration there is a time that she went through school and i've just seen there that there at some point she was being celebrated because she has had two graduations. We've just heard from Jami Telcom representatives that uh, there is a time that they were celebrating the part of the baby that was added to their new family. And uh, at such a time like this, it is unfortunate, but biblical that we are here, uh, actually we are sending, um, we are giving a final farewell. As we have seen here, fare thee well. Jo to Joan. The question that I want to ask you on behalf of the Africa Inland Churches and other churches is that having known that there is a season and a time for everything, how prepared are you to meet that season of yours? How prepared are you? Ukotayari kiasigane. Anda maisha yako kwa sababu yesu yuaja. Atujui siku itakuwa siku gane. Lakini nataka nishukuru sana kwa sababu wale wote wenye wamemjua yeye. Guest from Makweni. Yes, yes. Can we appreciate this team? God bless you so much for being with us today. It has been a request that we recognize the effort that you have made to be here. God bless you so much. We do, we are going well with time. We have Mirira Administrative uh, unit that is Madam Ann, Madam Ann, Madam Ann representing the Mirira administration. Maybe be, I be assisted. Is Madam Ann together with us? If she's not, we will proceed. Put me into order. Oh, good. Then uh, we are going to go straight to St. John. We have presentations, a couple of uh, few songs that we are going to receive. Uh, that is uh, 
St. John Paul II, they have a song. Please come so that we may minister with the song. The, the team that is coming is St. John Paul II. Then immediately after they are through, we are going to have AIC Kimolwet Choir give us a number. So from uh, St. John Paul II, after the number that they are going to give us, AIC Kimolwet, please be prepared and ready to give us a number. Thank you. wasifiwe tupungieni mkono wa baraka tuwe baraka kwa kila mmoja wetu uh, sisi ndio tumeitwa St John Paul the second uh, tumetoka katika kanisa la St Benedict Goigwa uh, tukiwa washiriki wa kanisa ya katoliki na sisi tunashiriki na mkwewe John uh, ni mmoja wetu kwa hivyo tume tuko na wibo Na tunazidi ku encourage the family eh, Mungu awape neema Mungu awape faraja uh, kwa kupotesa mtoto wetu Joan uh, Mungu alijua hakuna jambo litokalo Mungu nyuma hivyo ndio Biblia inatuambia na kwa hivyo kama familia na kama jamii uh, macho yetu iangalie juu mbinguni kama vile Eh, muibaji wa Saburi alisema Zaburi 121 uh, tutatazama wapi jabu wakati giza kubwa imekuja ama mabode na mlima kubwa ukiwa juu mbele yetu macho yetu yote tutazame eh, juu kwa Mungu naye atatupa faraja tutawiba wibo ambao ni wa kumsidikisha mtoto wetu Joan uh, na ni wa kikatoliki kwa hivyo DJ to a Kenya we've
Eternal rest grant unto joy and soul, O Lord. May the soul of John and soul of other faithful departed rest in peace. Et eternal rest grant unto joy and O Lord. May the soul of John rest in peace and the soul of other faithful departed. Amen. Eternal rest grant unto joy and O Lord. May the soul of John and the soul of other faithful departed rest in peace. Amen. Santi. Thank you. Can we just appreciate them? Put your hands together for us. St. John Paul II, AIC Kimoluet, Tafadali to Nombo Mweze Kukaribia, Dipo Sam Mweze Kutubariki na Wimbo. Thank you so much for that song, St. John Paul II. God bless you so much for encouraging us through the ministry of our song. You need a microphone?
Let's appreciate them even once more. Please put your hands together. There are people who are not. When you think about composing a song, and putting it to order, putting instruments into it, it's not easy. Can we appreciate them once again? Well, uh, because of time, tuko na mtumishi ambaye anaitwa Robert Munywa ntampa nafasi ya tupatie wimbo mmoja tu tukisha maliza Jacqueline Wangoi aweze kujiandaa aweze kutupatia uology aweze kutusomea uology uh, John please kindly Robert Munywa we you can have your microphone from here oh thank you Bwana asifiwe Bwana asifiwe Nipugia mkono kama unanisikia. Kwa majina naitwa Robert Munyo, nimeokoka Yesu ni bwana na pia mimi ni mchungaji wa kanisa la IPCA Independent pale Dhika. Ile kitu nikiambia Stephen Vamire eh, ajipe nguvu. Joshua aliambiwa atako gea na hinya, tawadukata kwa Musa na reketia huko kwa DJ ya Rwebo. Ipa yangu naipa ni akikuyu na nikusema ni shukurani na rudishia Mungu. Eh Na nikisema inua mikona kwa jupi ya Yesu makovi unafanya hivyo. Haya, wao moko makume ni hore na jesorohe. Kila fori. Ye ni zine gadonda kusokelia kumaende ya majeti. Ye ni wajire dukadi gadina ile. Na kinyagi omudhi no hudoi. Ye ni we oke kuwa kuno nyonaga Uge sera sera igoro leak Ye ni na mave na moka loge doine Utoma gandela igoro leak Mwole la jesu no hewega Haya Tata kama kuko vida kuko Eno tiyo bare ago kuero Gaitu wa kemera kemoe Wajoe kumalenda ya maito Namaga ima kukekai Yeni doyo waga na dose la giro Ukago ende ya ya gire Yeni weo kiku wa kuno nyonaga Uge zera zera igono leako Na madhi na moka luge doine Uto maga dele gurule Inu wa mikono yako jupi ya sumakovi Yeni Hata kama uwerewi Ni kuwabia mugu ni asanti tu Yeni kolo kiano wakumwega Kanyona kia lili wa matui Yeni weo keku wakuno nyonaga Uge zera zera igoro leako Na mavi na moka luge doine Utoma gandele igoro leako Haya Ona gotari yao huo Rietore ya mwadha nile ya oshi Na adaudi ya kasema Hata kama hui mtoto wa mekufa Nitajipea guvu Kwe gai wa hidarege Ya nijadu gatolo neinya Hathiri ya geko makelului Ye ni mwona ika ke mwona ilio na mae Na ke mwena ke rothye roge Ye ni weo ke 
kuwa kuno nyonaga uge sera sera igoro ye ni na mave na mokalo gadoine otoma gande na igoro kwa sababu ya muda asanti DJ Mungu abariki na watendee mema Asante 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 let's put our hands together and ndugu yetu ndugu yetu Robert Munyo ametuimbia wimbo wa kijitirania ambao unasemaje eti uaminifu wako Mungu ni wa kila muda na katika safari hii uaminifu huo unanisaidia kupitia juu ya mambo Bwana Yesu asifiwe kwa hivyo uh, wapenda sasa kujitia moyo ninaomba niweze kumwona Jacqueline Wangoi aweze kuja liposa atusomee eology Asante here she comes God is good and all the time. My name is Jacqueline Wangoi Kamau and I'll read you the eulogy of the late Joan Cherono. Birth. The late Joan Cherono was born on 5th November 1989 at Mokoyot village, Chepalungu sub-county, Bomet County in the Fakation. Joan was sibling to Timothy, Nelly, Winnie, Mercy, Doreen, and Britty. She was an aunt to many. Education. The late Joan started her formal education in 1993 at Seagull Boarding Primary School before she proceeded to Daramweta Girls High School, where she did her KCSE in the year 2007. She joined Moy University Chepkwailel campus in the year 2009 for her bachelor's degree in chemistry and graduated in 2013. In the year 2020, she proceeded to Kenya School of Tibet, that is KTTC, where she did her postgraduate high diploma in technical education and graduated on 5th December 2023. Work. Joan has been working at Jami Telecommunications from 2019 until her demise. Church. Joan was a member of African Gospel Church and was baptized in October 2008. She has been a member of the African Gospel Church until her demise. Marriage. Joan met and married the love of her life, Mr. Stephen Gakuhe Karanja, and they were blessed with their child, baby Brianna Kafura Gakuhe. She was daughter-in-law to Mr. Francis Waidaka Karanja and Mrs. Joyce Kafura Karanja. She was sister-in-law to Mr. Evans Njoroge Karanja, Precious Tait Njoroge, and Stella Mavis Getich. Health. Thank you much, uh, Jacqueline Wangoi, even for gay, gathering courage to read us the eulogy. May God bless you. We have uh, our brother who was here before, Philip Rono, who requested that in this time of tribute that he comes and uh, introduce the family to us, and one of them is going to read us. Please come uh, together with the family so that we may uh, come to know you and you give us the tribute from family. Thank you. Ashikurani mwesangu kwa hii nafasi umenipa. Hila tu niseme pole tena kwa niyapa yangu na familia yangu. Asa naomba tu kidoko let me request the members of this area to allow me to bring the law to, to bend the law, but not to break the law of what you have been doing in this place. So I request the family members of my new family members, all of you come in front for a brief induction. Muta, time is money. Alafu kitu mine nafuata kwa sisi, najua tena kuna kuna wachomba wachon. Ngefaa pia, wasimame, Alafu naomba tutakikas tatu 
mtu mmoja wao aongee tuharakishe family ni kubwa tukisema nitaje majina itachukua muda kwa hivyo hao wote ni family ya Joan kuna wa, kuna ma, kuna papa wa Joan hapa kuna madata kuna wa mama, mama za, ya Joan tuko wengi kiasi kwa hiyo machache nafikiri sisi tuseme pole Alafu yetu na utapaki na familia yako alafu ngotwa choi net na familia ngotwa Ngotwa family Naomba tena kuongezea kidogo sisi si wa kabila hata wakati Juan alikuja huko sisi tukaenda ukambani tukatoa moja huko Ndio nafenda ni familia yao kuja mbele ndio uone sisi si watu wa kabila. Joseph familia yako. Kwa hii family tu. Pole sana kama nimechukua muda. Mtanisamia mtawea rate. Asante. Ah sa, mungu tutuze mungu kwa. Hai ndanse ya family ngotwa. Oh, pa, ni pande hii. Oh, sasa ni mali tuliona ndugu yangu aliona aliposunguka dunia mzima akakosa pipi akapata eti na kwa kinawa. Na tunashukuru Mungu. Nafikiri moja ndio acha nitapatia moja au ngine ndio. Oh, nitapatia mzee. Uh, asante sana. Nataka kumshukuru Mungu wa yale yote ametendeka na sitachukua nafasi ningetaka tu kusema tunamshukuru Mungu kwa yale miaka machache ambayo amempatia John tukakae hii dunia na sisi na nafikiri alitimiza yale Mungu alikuwa anataka so kwa niaba ya familia na wale watu ambao hawakuweza kuja hapa tunasema pole sana kwa familia ya Rono na pole sana kwa familia ya Karanja. Hivyo tu ndio ile tu tungetaka kuongeza ni dunia imekuwa na namna hiyo. Eh? Ujui ma wakati unazaliwa lakini ujue tu ukishazaliwa lazima uache dunia hii. Ile tu atujui ni utaja siku gani. So tunaomba vile tufuate vile mapasa tu anasema asanteni sana na pole sana asante sana si tunaitaka kwa kikwetu nyoite eh hiyo sasa hapa ni kwa family ya timo kuja hapa na stella huyu huyu pia akaona huko huko pomet huko ndarawe takuna pipi akasema acha nikimbie ukambani akapata huyu stella na tunashukuru Mungu Sela amenipatia watoto kadhaa. Eh tunashukuru Mungu. Asante sana. Huyu ni papa yake. Sema tu, sema tu jambo. Eh mjambo. Eh sisi hata sisi tuko salama. Kwanza ni kushukuru Mungu. Kushukuru familia iliyopata mshiba. Eh kushukuru wale majirani na watu wa karibu. Sisi tumetoka makueni na tunafuraha mzuri kwa vile Mungu anatenda ile anaona ni mzuri na kuna mtu anaweza kusimamisha kwa hivyo tunafuraha kwa vile Mungu ametenda tunasema tuachie Mungu na tuendelee ama namna gani sawa sawa kwa majina naitwa Joseph Chalo Kaviati mimi nimepeana mtoto kwa hii familia na tumekuwa marafiki. Nashukuru sana. Tunasema asante, tumepokea pole zenu, tungasaka. Haya kuna kitu moja karibu nisahau. 
semeji yangu huyu kuna huyu kuna mwenye anafanya na yeye kazi na ningependa asimama dakika moja tu ili aji introduce na aseme pole kwa ni hapa ya walimu wenzao wanafanya kazi pamoja karibu Ngao tunasema anga ukipatia mwalimu taika kumi kana kama mpatia masaa mawili. Karibu tu. Asante sana. Bwana asifiwe. Uh, I want to thank God this afternoon because of who he is. He's the king of kings and he's the lord of lords. My name is I'm Mrs. San Caroline. I love the Lord Jesus Christ. He is my personal savior. I'm only saying Pauline sana for the family of my friend Edna and this family. Let God to give you peace as the Bible says that he is giving us peace not as the world give it. God bless you. Thank you very much for saving time as a teacher. I was not expecting to spend more than two, less than two minutes. Okay, kitu ya pili nimesahau kumba hata sisi tulipeana wasijana. Naomba tu niruhusu nisimamishe hao vijana. Acha niite vijana tu na nisamee. Wako wapi? Kuja kuja hapa mbele. Hao ni part of the family. Ndio hao tunasema anga le menya na ni wapi Steve? Steve. Haya hata wewe pia uko hapa ndani. Ingia hapa. Asa Steve sio wenu peke yenu. Ama ni aje? Eh, ni sisi wote. Ah, asante sana. Ah, utasema jambo. Ah, pole sana. Pato ujama pata na mbale sa tuone uruma. Tukiwa matare, pole sana ndugu yangu. Mungu hafariki. Ama sema pole. Ana neno. Ok, tunamaliza. Awa ni wa hii family pia. Sasa kwa ni hapa ya family yetu, acha nipatie huyu jamaa aseme jambo ndio tumalize ndio tunasema asante. Nami pia nashukuru Mwenyezi Mungu kwa nafasi ambayo ametupatia. Mimi pia ni baba ya huyu ameaga. So nasema pole, familia ya upande huu na pande ule wetu, zote tunasema pole. Nimesikia mama wa upande huu amesema tumeunganika tumekuwa kitu kimoja na hata mimi pia ninasema tumekuwa kitu kimoja na tukumbukane kila wakati wakati wa wote wakati wa furaha asanteni thank you very much sasa tunamalizia nafikiri mnamjua hata sina hata hata yui mama john anafuatu ana timo na familia yake i group Alafu tunakuja kwa Neli. Tunakuja kwa Wini. Tunakuja kwa Masi. Tunakuja kwa Torin. Tunakuja kwa Priti. Hii sasa ni family ya kina John. Tunasema pole. Thank you very much for the time you've granted me. Thank you very much. Let's applaud them. Please put your hands together even as we really appreciate this family. In Jesus name. Now um we also have our Karanja's family. Please allow me to introduce to you a man by the name Paul Kaforo to come and introduce unto us uh, Karanja's family. Thank you. Buona Sifwe. God is good and all the time. Yes, Gina ni Paul Kaforo, kama vile mmesikia. Yes, ni Buona. Yangu nitachukua muda mfupi kabisa kwa sababu inlos ndio huwa wanapewa muda mwingi sio? Kwa hivyo yangu ni 2 minutes na ningeuliza kwanza uh, baba Steve na mama Steve wakuje hapa ili tuwajue kwa sababu najua wa inlos wengine wanauliza na huku tumekuja wazazi wa huko ni yakina nani. So tuwaone na wakikuja uh, si, wale wamezaliwa na wao pamoja kama ni sisters kama ni brothers pia wakuje 
sister za Mr. Joroge Francis Karanja na pande ya Gakuhis wale wamezaliwa pamoja na wa sister wako hao wengine familia hiyo ingine kubwa tuko familia ya Waidhaka na tuko na familia ya Gakuhis hao nitawauliza mahali wapo watasimama hao tu, watatupungia tu mkono wakiwa bari mtawaita na pia tuko na shosho wawili pande hii wawe wanajadiliana ni nani ataongea maneno kidogo maneno mawili matatu kuhusu uh, vile tunajuana na vile tuko yes so i think hiyo hiyo iko enough so tuko na Francis Waidhaka ambaye die baba Steve eh na tuko na our sister hapa Joyce Gakuhe na pande hii tuko na sister zake uh, wajitaje haraka kujitaja tu jina my name is Catherine Nyanjui i'm the elder sister to Joyce i'm Nancy Gakuhe the younger sister i'm Joki Gakuhe Chege the older sister Thank you to apigie makofi baada ya kuhis then tuko na pande hii ingine ya Waidhakas I'm Jane Gadoni the fifth born I'm Lucy Wairimu and I love the Lord I'm Joyce Mobi I love the Lord I'm the older than uh, Karanja I'm Alice Tiambi I'm the last born Thank you very much. Hiyo majina yetu ndio common Karanja, Waidhaka, Joroge hiyo yote. Lakini familia kubwa ni Waidhaka. Na pia tuko na hiyo Joroge ambayo imezaliwa katika hii boma ambayo eh, ni ya Mr. Francis, tuko na Joroge na wife yake. Na pia tuko na Gakuhi. Pia wengine wanajiuliza Steve ni nani. So pande hii tupungie mkono. Hiyo ndio Evans Joroge, ndio the first born wa Francis tupungie mkono gakuhe huyo die Steve gakuhe ndio second born na tuko na pande hii tupungie mkono huyo ni Mrs Joroge so no wife ya Joroge kaeni chini so familia yetu sasa yote tuweze kusimama familia ya Waidhaka na wale wametoka huko wameoa huko tusimame tu ili tupungie wageni wetu na kanisa na kila mmoja mkono tuweze kusimama wote mahali muko Waidhakas na pia Gakuhis so, kama kuna wengine wamebaki pande hii ya Gakuhis uh, dio hao dio hao haya tupungie kanisa mkono hivi yes thank you very much god bless you for coming tuweze koketi chini so eh? oh yes sorry tuko na wa inlos we have our inlos from Kajiando Kajiando Awa inlos wa kutoka Kajiando nilikuwa nimewaona eh ndio hao simameni mtupungie mkono yes yes ndio hao hao ndio walitupea bibi ya, ya Evans Joroge thank you very much god bless you so nilikuwa nimesema tuwe na maneno mawili matatu anti joki wa Musha So hadi wale wazazi tumeachiwa ndio wanatuangalia tunashukuru Mungu Mjabone wote Amjabo mara nyingine Kwa jina ninaitwa Neli Jerry Gishao 
na Waidaka or Karanja, Karanja's mother, uh, she's my sister. So um, I'm one of them, the, 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 among the last ones in the family. I thank the Lord very much because he has saved me. I love Jesus Christ as my savior. And at this age, you know, I, I, I couldn't come through all the time I have been in the world without him. I'm so happy. And I want to thank you so much for, I'm not able to speak very well because I had a very bad cold, but the Lord is so good. I didn't know I would be able to be able to come here at this time. Lakini nina mshukuru mungu sana sana kuona watu wetu wa Bamet. Asanti kwa kuja na upendo mwingi mwingi sana. Kwa sababu mlianza kuja usiku na mkafika hapa asubuhi. Kama hamkuwa na upendo hamumbe hamuge kuja. Tulikuwa tunasikitika sana um, watu wa uko wetu kwa sababu ya kumpoteza mtoto wetu tume, tulikuwa tumependa sana tumekaa naye kwa muda mfupi sana tukiona sisi lakini Mungu aliona ni ndiye uliyefaa tulikaa naye alikuwa mpendwa sana na alikuwa mpole sana na aliku, tuliona Mungu ametupatia baraka nzuri sana kutupatia huyu mtoto. Lakini kwa vile tunasema Mungu haulizwi uh, uh, vile amefanya na amefanya vizuri. Kwa sisi wa Kristiano tunajua kulala kwake ni kulala ni kuenda kwa Mungu. Kukaa hapa ni kumsifu Mungu. Sasa ameenda kukaa na Yesu. Na sasa sisi tunafurahi sana kwa sababu tunajua alienda akiwa na nguvu ya kumpenda Mungu. Kwa hivyo watu wa Bomet asanteni sana sana hata kwa kutupatia wakati huu. Ninajua mila nyingi sana. Um, we have a lot of uh, uh, um, tuna mambo mingi sana. Uh, na nyinyi mumetu say anything you knew that it was the lord who has done it and you said mtoto huyu ni wenu muendelee na tunajua watu wengine wanakimila kingumu sana kwa hivyo mungu ambariki na wakati hata uh, yule dada wetu alisema ati nyinyi sasa ni watu wetu na, nyi, na sisi tu watu wenu Wherever we have something, we will invite you. And when you have something where you can invite us, we'll come. And in fact, we wanted to come, but the Lord knew that this would happen. So thank you so much. And thank also I thank the Karanjas because they accepted Joan so well, together with me, Shosho. I'm, I'm a go -go. Uh, tulifurahi sana kwa hivyo uh, tunashukuru Mungu na tunamwambia aende salama na akae mkononi mwema wa Yesu na siku isiyo bali sana tutaenda kutukutana na yeye Mungu ambariki sana mkirudi huku na muasalimie wa Kristo sana wote asanteni sana oh sorry <laughs> Sorry, jina langu ni Neri Jerry Geshau. Hey. Thank you. Mother Yagoswa. Amen. Jesu Akumio. Amen. It's good also to go to Hebrew. Yes. <laughs> Talk French because you are in Kikuyu Rad. We are just welcoming you here. My mother's my father's mother and the, her 
mothers, mother, we are sisters. So we are sisters in Christ. And you have also become sisters in Christ. We welcome you here. And ours is only to say it's God's doing. And we cannot ask a question. Praise God. Amen. Thank you so much. Let us appreciate them. Thank you, Shosho, for those encouraging words. May God bless you. Um, in this due time, we are going to have a word from the government. And um, I'd like to, on, on behalf of the administrative unit, we have Madam Anne, who's together with us. Uh, kindly, uh, let us have her come and give her speech. She is the assistant chief of Mirira, the area where we are in. Karibisana. Badienu. Salama. Murega. Murega. Murega Rege. Murega. Oh, Kamajina Naitoa Anu Anjiko Getao. I'm the area assistant chief. Karibuni Sana Muranga County, Muranga East Sub County, Gekedo Division, Medida Location, Medida Sub Location. You feel at home. Sina Maneno Mingi, Kwambia Pole, Namkienda Mwende Sarama. Mungu wa Badiki. Amen. I thank God that uh, uh, the government is also giving a chance to the youth to get into leadership. We are no longer leaders of tomorrow. We are leaders of today. Hey. Can we appreciate her once again? Well, uh, we have come at a right time for us to welcome the church service. We are going to get into praise and worship. And before we do so, I'd like to uh, encourage my brother Steve there's a song that says that you are my hiding place. You fill my heart with songs of deliverance whenever I am afraid. May God be your hiding place and may he fill your heart with songs of deliverance whenever you are afraid. Let us be upon our feet even as we welcome the church service to proceed from now henceforth. Thank you so much for listening to me. Uh, I will be back later, but from now onwards after prison worship, uh, Reverend Samson Mungai is going to take over and bring the church service to us in Jesus' name. Praise and worship team, please, you're welcome. Amen. Bona Yesu asifiwe. Bona Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Tunenda kumwabudu mungu. Tunambia kwa kila hali tumwabudu mungu na tumtukuze bona. Amen. Amen. Bona asifiwe. Amen. Tauliza ule ndugu muimbaji. Leza karibio nisaidie. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Keyboard volume. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Enda bele 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 za bwana. Mwambie jambo. Just speak a word. Amen. Enda bele za bwana. Adoito di bele ya gai. Mweleka udo na niodo wa family eno. Jua maisha yako ametuwezesha tumefika siku ya leo tuko 2024 amekuwezesha Amen Hallelujah mm.
kama wewe Anaweza mchana asubuhi anaweza jioni hakuna Mungu aliye kama yeye yeye ni bwana wa mataifa walio hai na walio kufa yeye ni Mungu wa watu wote thank you Jehovah God because you love us thank you Father because in the morning Lord you stand with us your word tells us Jehovah God that you stand us from one day to a whole week Jehovah my father you are faithful Hakuna Mungu aliye kama wewe. Unastahili sifa na utukufu. Juu ya mambo yote Bwana tunakuinua. Baba wa mbinguni maana ni wewe tu na hakuna mwingine. Ni Jehovah asante diwe mfariki wetu. Tufariki siku ya leo. Maana wewe ni Mungu wa mbinguni. Ni Jehovah wa mbinguni. Ni wewe tu Bwana. Ni wewe tu. Tuseme pamoja. Ni wewe tu Bwana ni wewe tu ni wewe Bwana ni wewe tu Bwana ni wewe tu ni wewe Bwana ni wewe tu Bwana ni wewe tu Bwana kama Bwana Yesu makofi haleluya Tunaenda kusifu Bwana na nyimbo mbili Amen Tupige makofi Baba ninakupenda asante sana baba mokozi wangu Mimi sitaona haya kusema wewe wangu na mimi wako itababa Mokozi wangu kwani mimi kwani sitaona haya kusema wewe wangu na mimi wangu itababa Baba ninakupenda asante sana baba Na mimi wa 
katika maisha ya baba Hallelujah. Amen. bariki na kijana na hakunipa msichana lakini wao wakanipa msichana mm. ya Yesu makofi na ndio huko Morera mwadhani ya Osho amen ajitao pastor Susan Mongai de mwana kunenye da Jesu oh naitwa Susan Mongai nimeokoka na mpenda Yesu bwana asifiwe uh, sisi ndio wale wale ambao kijana wetu walipata Yeah, let's let's see join the family. Sisi ni wale tulipata msichana after Mungu kutubariki na kijana na akatuongezea jamii. Bwana wapiki. Bwana apewe sifa. 
kwa majina ni Pastor Paul Ngundua na hudumu na kanisa la Full Gospel na nilikuwa hapa niko nyumbani kwa hivyo karibuni mkiendelea kuhudumu niko hapa kwa ajili ya Francis Kanaja wakati alikuwa kazi hapa kwa Kenjen tulijuana na akawa rafiki na baba yangu Bwana asipewe kwa majina naitwa Pastor Ngani ya Ngamuli sodo ni huko makuweni county na chalo kapyati na wiki yangu na aninyolesa hili nije naye tuje kwa kwa hisi kwa hivyo mimi nimeokoka na mpenda Yesu kama mwokozi wa maisha yangu na ningependa kusema sisi sote tunaenda kwa hivyo kila mtu ajitarishe asante bwana asifiwe reverend rose yagon i'm from deliverance church naitwa bomet south and region so from africa gospel church na huduma katika kanisa moja inaitwa baraka aqc thank you i am katrin nyanju sister to mrs karaja i am a retired elder in the presbyterian church huko kikuyu bwana yesu asifiwe naitwa pastor sitonik albert nimeokoka na hudumu katika kanisa la africa inland church upande wa bomet nimekuja hapa kwa kwa ajili ya team kutoka Bomet na juzi tukajuana na Karanja pia sasa nimekuja hapa kwa ajili kwa ajili yake pia Mungu awafariji nyinyi nyote asanteni I bless the Lord Amen. I'm saved Jesus is my personal savior I'm called Pastor Agustin Ruta Kimolvet AIC nilikuwa tunaandamana na familia ya our little ta uh, Joan Mungu awabariki. Bwana asifiwe. Ken Moranje here. Christ is Lord and Savior in my life. I serve with the Presbyterian Church of East Africa in Kikuyu. I'm here Katase of Mrs. Nyanjui who was standing here as a retired elder. We serve together with her. The auntie to Steve and a mother to me. And uh, I came with my wife. She can just stand. And we've just my condolences to you Steve the parents and indeed the rest of our family may God be with you and carry your faith in him it is well thank you thank you wana siviwe wana siviwe i'm pastor bernard mainek from africa gospel church i'm here because i'm a brother to the chuan's father so Joan is my daughter. May God bless you all. I'm saved. Bwana asifiwe. Amen. Amen. Bwana asifiwe. Bwana asifiwe. Asifiwe tena. Ah mimi nimekuja kwa sababu ya kuhe joro. Bwana asifiwe. Amen. This is my wife. And she's the one who has connected me to this family. And thank God, I'm Pastor Sam. We minister together, but under Reverend Samson Mungai. God bless you. And coincidentally, Reverend uh, Pastor Sam is our biological son. Praise the Lord. <laughs> well, the Bible says in the book of Matthew, chapter 4, verses 4, that man shall not live by blood alone, but from each and every one that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. Hallelujah. Yani. Biblia inasema kwamba mwanadamu hataishi kwa mkate peke yake. Haleluya. Maneno haya alineno na Yesu na hakuwa na shida na mkate. Ya? Maana alipenda mikate na samaki. Lakini alikuwa anamaanisha kwamba kando ya mikate na samaki tunahitaji neno. Si ni kweli? Kwa hivyo baadhi ya mambo yote ambayo tumefanya hapa sasa tutapata neno. Ni kweli tunaangalia time. Na ninaamini mtumishi wa Mungu atakayeleta neno ataangalia time tusichelewe. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Kwa hivyo nisaidie nitweke mikono pamoja ninapomletea mtumishi wa Mungu Reverend John Kahiga atuletee neno. Karibu sana. Haleluya. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Huko mnaniona Bwana asifiwe. Lord. Amen. Majina yangu ni, pa, ni Reverend John Kahiga. Nahubiri na Redeemed Gospel Church Pali panaitua chokau kwa Nairobi 
na nashukuru bwana kwa kunipa na amen bwana asifiwe sana kidogo tu mkubali tu tukule amesema mwanadamu hataishi kwa mkate tu ataishi kwa neno la bwana amen na i've seen in most cases what ya kwamba tunaongea mambo mengine story tunaongea ni vizuri na ni nzuri pia lakini tukifika kwa neno la Mungu watu wanaanza kuangalia saa usiniangalie usiniangalie saa lakini sitakuweka mpaka jioni amen i will not preach the whole bible praise the name of the living god bwana asifiwe ningetaka kabla niingie kwa neno tuimbe wimbo huu umeandikwa pale unasema nionapo amani kama shwari Nel pass my brother. That's okay. One, two, two, two. Hallelujah. Nio na po amani kama shwari amani yo na po shida. Kwa mambo yote mimi ni sarama roho ni mwa niona po niona po amani kama shwari we give you praise we give you all the glory because you are a faithful god there's no god like you are dear lord we thank even for this opportunity to to receive your word oh god we pray that you speak unto our hearts oh god we are ready to receive from you father because the bible says man shall not live on bread alone but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of the lord as we receive your word oh god i pray that you speak unto us you speak unto us so god so that you may change us and transform us oh god and also comfort us in the name of jesus we worship you and we give you praise father i pray that as i present your word lord may you use me as a vessel this afternoon May I decrease as we increase to the glory and honor of your holy name. We worship you and we honor you. We arrest every demonic power now that may be working against your will in the mighty name of Jesus. And we bless you for this family, oh God. May you comfort them, may you be with them, my Father. We thank you and we honor you because you are a faithful God. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. And everybody say amen. Amen. Tunaweza tukaketi na Mungu abariki sana. Amen. Nimesema majina yangu na nimeokoka Yesu ni Bwana. Nataka nilete neno kwa ufupi. Bwana asifiwe sana. Na heshima watumishi wa Mungu ambao wako mahali hapa. Uh, mungu abariki sana watumishi wa Mungu Reverend, maapostles, wachungaji, maevangelist, wote na waheshimu sana kwa utukufu wa Mungu. Bwana asifiwe sana. Na imempendeza Mungu anipatie tu tupokee neno kutoka kwake na sisi ni viombo kwa utukufu wa Bwana. Bwana asifiwe sana. Hallelujah. Bwana asifiwe sana. Madakika ambazo nimepewa huenda nisilete ujumbe wote ambao nilikuwa nao lakini najua Mungu atatunenea kwa sababu ni mwaminifu. Bwana asifiwe sana. Ujumbe wa wangu siku ya leo ni ya kwamba Yesu Kristo ameshinda kifo. 
Yesu ameshinda kifo. Praise the name of the living God. Kifo sio kizuri. Maana kifo ni mwizi ambaye huwa anakuja kutuibia wapendwa wetu. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Haleluya. Lakini Mungu hapa mwanzo hakutaka wanadamu wafe. Alitaka tuishi vizuri kwa amani. That's why when he created the first man Adam, the Bible says he placed them in the garden of Eden na kila siku alikuwa anawatembelea. Wanaongea, wanasalimiana, alafu anaambiana Mungu, bye, tuonane kesho. Amen. Hallelujah. Lakini Biblia inasema kwamba walipotenda vile waliambiwa wasitende. Tunajua hiyo hadithi with many interpretations. Lakini waliambiwa sikule uli mtu wa, e, tunda la mtu wa katikati. After they did it, the Bible says, Mungu akasema lazima neno lake litimie ambalo walikuwa wametangaza. Bwana asifiwe sana. Na nilikuwa nasoma hilo neno in the book of Genesis chapter 3. Genesis chapter 3. Na ilikuwa inanishangaza kwa sababu hata Mungu alipokuja kuwatembelea akauliza Adam mko wapi wakamwambia tumejificha akauliza kwa nini mmejificha kwani mlikula tunda bwana asifiwe sana Adam alisema namna gani si watu wanajua hiyo biblia eh ni nani haya mwanamke kwanza akasema ni nyoka eh naye eh, mama alipoulizwa mama mama akasema ni nyoka Adam akasema ni huyu mwanamke ulinipatia Kama hunge nipa hui mwana muke singe kuna tunda. That was the meaning. Bwana sikuwe sana. Hallelujah. Lakini ni kangalia huruma za bwana. Kwa sababu, alipo anza kuachilia judgment. Mungu haku laani mwanadamu. Because God loves man so much. Mungu anampenda mwanadamu sana. Ambia mwenzako mungu anapenda mwanadamu sana. Hallelujah. Nikisoma kwa bibida na wasomi wako hapa. The Bible says, mwenye alikasiwa ni nyoka peke yake. Cast be used up and above all livestock. Sini kweli, bwana sifiwe sana. Alipofika kwa mwanamke akamwambia, wewe aidhuru utazaa kwa uchungu. Eh? Utazaa kwa uchungu. Bwana sifiwe sana. Na kwa mwanaume akamwambia Adam na wewe kwa sababu mmekula tunda niliwaambia usikule. Bwana sifiwe sana. Because of disobedience, the sin of disobedience, akambiwa na wewe, nimelaani nimelaani nchi kwa ajili yako. Bwana sifiwe sana. That's why ndio ukilima kabla upande ngano Kwa kwa zimefanya nini? Zimemea. Bwana asifiwe sana. Maana ilaniwa kwa ajili yako ndio uteseka na akamwambia utateseka katika kutafuta mpaka siku ambazo utarudi kwa mchanga. Maana ulitoka kwa mchanga na kwa mchanga utafanya nini? Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Si unaona huruma za Bwana? And the Bible says death came by one man in the book of Corinthians. The Bible says death came with one man that is Adam. But God had to seek a plan B. Akatoftia plan B, akamtumia mwanawake wa pekee ambaye ni Yesu Kristo. Ambaye nimekuambia ameshinda nini? Kifo. Bwana asifiwe sana. Hallelujah. Mnajua hiyo hadithi. The Bible says in the book of John chapter 3 verse 16. You know I'm preaching the, the simple gospel. John 3:16 the Bible says, "For God so loved the world that he gave eternal life or everlasting life." Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Hiyo yote ni kwa sababu Mungu alimpenda mwanadamu sana, lakini mwanadamu Alipeana mamlaka kwa shetani. You know God created man to reign on earth. Mungu alitaka wanadamu tutaware hapa duniani. Tutaware wanyama, tutaware kila kitu. Bwana asifiwe. That's why the Bible says in the book of Psalms 115 verse 16 I believe the Bible says heaven even the heavens of heaven belongs to God. But the earth he has given to, to us the sons of men. Praise the name of the living God. But let me tell you something. You cannot reign on earth unless you have Jesus. Unless you have Jesus, you cannot reign on earth. Hallelujah. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Baada ya hiyo Mungu alivyofukuza kwenye shamba, kawaambia tokeni. Bwana asifiwe sana. Na akaweka makerubi walinde shamba. Lakini Yesu amekuja kama second Adam. Ndio ukimkubali unarudishwa katika shamba. Naomba mtu aniambie amen. Utaseme amen. Hallelujah. Ukimpokea Yesu siku ya leo, anakurudisha kwa shamba. Ah! Tunarejeshwa kwa shamba tukimuamini Yesu Kristo. Praise the name of the living God. Na wasa ni kuambie. God created man na kuna kaspesa. Na hiyo kaspesa haikaliwi na pesa. Haikaliwi na wanawake. You know the story of Solomon? Solomon was the wisest man on earth. Bwana sivyo sana. Lakini ha kutosheka. Kutotosheka kwake. Akafikia ni mwanamke. Akaowa kwanza. Akaenda wakamba kwa ngapi wasomi. 
Mwaka wangapi? Aliomba kaka ya saba. Bado akasikia haitosheki. Hello. There's a space in you that needs God only. Hallelujah. Akaona 700 hawatoshi akaenda kwa wangapi? Mpango wa kando 300. Na hakutosheka. Ukisoma akifunga Biblia the book the, the Ecclesiastes anasema namna gani? Uh, the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear God. Hallelujah. Fear God. Man aligudua yote ni bure bila Mungu. When God was coming to visit Adam and Eve, alikuwa anakuja wanapata vitu nzuri. Na ndio nataka niwaambie siku ya leo, what you miss when you don't have God. Bwana asifiwe sana. You may have money and money is good. I'm also looking for money. And also have money. Bwana asifiwe sana. But there's something you miss when you don't have Jesus. Hallelujah. The Bible says in the book of John chapter 14 verse 27, very important. My peace I give unto you. My peace I leave with you. Not as the world giveth. Let your hearts not be troubled. Mtu ambaye hana Yesu, ana amani. Ah, amen ni mmoja amesema hapa. <laughs> Na kuambia, bila Yesu hauna amani. Bila Yesu hauna amani. Bila Yesu there's no peace in your life. Jesus is the peace. He cannot be repaid of God. Ndio kitu walikosa. Wakati walipotenda dhambi wakaingia kichakani Bwana asifiwe sana wakaanza kusumbuka mawazo wakashindwa kumwambia Mungu nini Praise the name of the living God and even today it is the same it is the same when sin reigns in you you shall have no peace shall have no joy Praise the name of the living God Hallelujah Lazima Mungu akaribishwe akae kwa hiyo kanafasi akikaa kwa hiyo kanafasi Hello unatulia vizuri Unatulia vizuri Unaweza kuwa una pesa lakini uko na amani Unaweza kucheka na ujakula kitu Praise the name of the living God Because you have the peace of God In the mighty name of Jesus Hallelujah Yesu The Bible says Alimushinda shetani Alimushinda na mnakani Kwa sarubi ya kufa kwa jiri yangu na wewe Alikuja hapa duniani Aka kubali kuteswa Ndiyo sisi tuweza kununulua tumrudia mungu Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Na siku ya leo kimkubali unarudishwa uhusiano wako na baba yako. He became the reconciliator between man and God. Praise the name of the living God. Ukimpa moyo wako siku ya leo, Bwana anashuka ndani ya nyumba yako. Bwana asifiwe sana. Ukimkaribisha anakuunganisha na Mungu. Ile mambo ulipoteza unayapokea kwa jina la Yesu Kristo. Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. Alishinda kifo jinsi hii. Bwana asifiwe sana. Kifo tulijiletea sisi. Tulijiletea tu, tulijiletea sisi. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Lakini Yesu alipokuja, kikasomekana sasa hiyo kifo sio kifo ni kulala. Huyu ni kulala amelala. Bwana asifiwe sana. Haleluya. Wale wanaomjua na Mungu, wanapopumzika ni kulala wanalala. Wakingojea Yesu Kristo atakaporudi. The Bible says, tarumbeta itakapolia. Biblia inasema kwamba Yesu amepewa jina kuu kuliko majina yote. Ya kwamba katika jina la Yesu kila goti litapigwa na kila ulimi utakili. Wewe na mimi kuna siku moja atakuwa mbele za Bwana. Utakili vile ulifanya na maisha yako. Na mimi nitakili. Haleluya. Bwana asifiwe. Uwe kwa dini, uwe wapi na kuna kitu hatari sana. Maana watu wamejificha kwa dini. Wamejificha kwa dini. Dini zimekuwa kama mahali Adam na Eve walienda kujificha. Ole wako usijifike kwa dini. Kuwa na uhusiano na Yesu. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana ambaye aonaye moyo. Ambaye aonaye moyo. Bwana kumalizia. Tumoja nisome kitabu cha Ufunuo. Tumalizie. Ufunuo. I think 14 that is somebody read for us. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Bible says blessed are those who die in the in the Lord. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana because they will rest from their works and their uh, their what their deeds will follow them. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Kuna kifo kinampendeza Mungu. Psalms 116 verse 15 I believe. The Bible says precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of a saint. Hallelujah. Kuna wakati Mungu anaonanga mtu amekufa na ni mtu ambaye amempokea ame Yesu vizuri ambaye alitawaliwa na Yesu Mungu anasema amen kwa sababu anajua huyo sio kufa amekufa ni kupumzika praise the name of the living god blessed are they who die in the lord from today and henceforth praise the name of the living god that they may rest from their toils and labors but even though that their works their deeds will follow 
will follow them. What we are doing will follow you. Praise the name of the living God. Kuna wakati moja nilikuwa mwana kwaya na kuna wimbo tulikuwa tunaimba unasema hivi. Eh, sinema zitatolewa. Kuna mtu anajua hiyo wimbo? Sinema zitatole. Eh? Oh, wana kwaya wangu. Ani wasione sinema. Ah, hamtaki hiyo. Haleluya. Tunaambiwa tutatolewa sinema. Kuna mambo umefanya jana na huku wanakana mtu. Bwana sivyo sana. Kuna mambo umeenda umepanga kufanya leo. Na bibi hutaonekana mtu lakini mwisho wa mambo. Sinema is prepare your way now. Jesus is the way, the truth and the life. In winter, if you need to know the truth, the truth is not in pastor. The truth is not in an apostle. Jesus is the truth. He is the way. There is no other way. Hallelujah. The way to our Lord is Jesus Christ. Siku ya leo you can make a decision. Unaweza fanya uamuzi. Najua mahubiri inachokeshanga watu. Hallelujah sana. Eh sana. Thank you Rev. Sana bwana siwe sana. Lakini chunga siku moja usiteme kama ule mzee wa Biblia. Alienda mbinguni akasema Baba Abraham ninasomeka sana. Tuma Lazaro aguze maji kidogo angalau aniguze uli mimi na teseka. Alipoambiwa haiwezekani maana kuna bonde kubwa alisema namna gani? Tuma tumana chini. Niko na madugu wangapi? Na madugu hao watano saa hizi ndio wanauliza huyu anasema nini? Haleluya. Halo wakaambiwa kama hamtasikia Reverend Kahiga mimi mimi kama hamtanisikia hata mtu akitoka mbinguni hamtamsikia na ni kweli ama si kweli we have seen people who have resurrected from the dead do we listen to them tuliona tu angrimana hata nasema huyu hata nafikiri kujifanya eh hata nafikiri huyu ah hako amekufa kabisa that's how people talk but they will come a day they will come a day there will come a day that your actions will follow you whatever you did on earth will follow you hallelujah you may like me or not like me but there will come a day praise the name of the living god but today god has given you an opportunity you can allow jesus to come into your heart he loves you so much he came from heaven and died for us hallelujah if you give room today he will enter into your heart he will give life in jesus name namba tusimame nifunge kwa maombi katika jina la yesu Hakuna jina lingine lililopewa. Jina lenye nguvu na mamlaka. Jina la Yesu Kristo lina nguvu na mamlaka. Juu ya ngome zote na nguvu za giza. Jina la Yesu lina uwezo wa kuangamiza kila kitu. Na wapendo wale tumeokoka ni wakati sasa tuanze kutembea na nguvu za Mungu. Ndio tudhibitishe ulimwengu. Sasa naona watu wanashangaa tukiona waganga vile wanafanya wanafanya mtu akule nyasi. Hiyo ni vitu tunafanya kufanya wa Kristo. Wale tunatembea na nguvu za Roho Mtakatifu. Holy Ghost tunakupenda. Inua mikono yako juu mwambie Bwana nakupenda. Bwana nakupenda. Kwa sababu neno lako ni la kweli. Ambia Mungu neno lako ni la kweli. Anajua kesho yako. Anajua ukitoka hapo utaenda wapi. He knows your days. The Bible says in the book of Job chapter 14, he has set boundaries that you cannot pass. Your days are known by God. Hallelujah. Kama kuna mtu angehitaji wokovu Naomba kuja hapa tuombe na yeye. Unaweza kuwa mama, unaweza kuwa mzee, unaweza kuwa kijana, unaweza kuwa mtoto. Ndio tuombe na wewe. Yesu anakupenda. I'm going to count. Ta count mpaka 5. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Holy Spirit. Nakupatia nafasi. One. Just come forward. Jesus loves you. He cares for you. He needs you. Kumbuka utaulizwa ule pastor alihubiri kule kulikuwa kunaitwaje Mirera alitana mtokee haukutokea nafasi ni yako just come forward I'm not telling you to come so that I can go with you to Nairobi I want you to receive Jesus in your life so that you may go with him in your family He loves you so much he cares for you He's a healer is everything you may need. Three. Mm-hmm. 
Unataka kuniambia nyi wote mmeokoka, wangapi wameokoka inua mikono juu? Kama umeokoka inua mikono juu. Uliza mwenye haja inua unafanya nini unaitwa? Niulizie huyo mwenye haja inua. Uliza unafanya nini unaitwa? Amesemaje? Haya four. Karibu. Mwingine karibu karibu. Those who are coming just come forward. Kuna watu wa kabla nseme tano juu. You don't know why God is calling you. You don't know what will happen after this. But I'm not returning you. Our times are in the hands of the Lord. Siku zetu na maisha yetu iko mikononi mwa Bwana. You don't know your tomorrow. You don't know your evening. It is only God who knows. But there is eternal life where you will live with your father forever and ever. Sijasema ya tano. Nakwetia mtu mmoja atokee. Thank you my sister. God bless you. My daughter. Five. Nimemaliza. God bless you so much. Amen. Fasia kuja uendelee. Tosema asante. Tosema asante. Tosema Bwana Yesu. Mimi ni mwenye dhambi. Nimejiongoza mwenyewe na kutenda dhambi. Lakini mchana wa leo nimesikia neno lako na nimekubali ulikufa kwa ajili yangu ndio niweze kuishi ingia ndani yangu badilisha maisha yangu nifanye leo jinsi unataka niweze kuishi kwa imani nimeokoka sante bwana yesu kwa kunihurumia na kunipenda nitakuishia nitakutumikia siku zote za maisha yangu e bwana unisaidie kwa jina la Yesu naomba kwa imani hebu nimwombe loving father and everlasting god in the name of jesus i plead the blood of jesus upon this daughter from the crown of her head to the soles of her feet i decree and declare that from today she is free lord i separate her from every power of evil and declare the lord you have taken over the throne of our life in the name of the father and the son and the holy spirit amen amen god bless you tafuta kanisa mungu akubariki amen hebu niulize one minute my sister wewe ni hapa wewe ni hapa ah kuna wachungaji wa hapa huku we have any pastor from this place tuna mchungaji yote wa hapa kuja nikupatie mshirika Tuwapigie makofi for the connection. Makofi mazuri jamani. Hallelujah. Tuketi. Thank you so much. Uh Reverend for the good word. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Kuna kitu mchungaji amesema wakati alikuwa anahubiri akasema Yesu ndiye njia, ukweli na uzima. Ningependa ujue njia ni nini. Zamani tulikuwa na shida kubwa sana na hii barabara tumekuja nayo wakati ilikuwa one way. Sawa sawa. Sasa ni duo courage. Watu wanateremka vizuri. Haleluya. Si tumekuja vizuri. Hebu nikwambie mtu kama hana Yesu anasumbuka sana maana hana njia. Lakini ukipata Yesu njia bingu ni swali. Our sister Joan ameenda salama maana alikuwa na njia. Ah uh, wewe ndio ukifikiria juu hiyo neno najua Mungu atakubariki. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Wakati tulikuwa tunasomewa yoroji. pale ikienda kumalizia tuliambiwa kwamba uh, uyu dada John aliacha nani na nani? Tuliambiwa aliacha ngombe na mbuzi na nini? Oh, tuliambiwa ameacha nini? Bwana na na mtoto. Hebu ni kuambia ukweli. Nilitembea pale na nikasikia yule mtoto analia sana. Maana ni mtoto mdogo ni wa ni wa haud miwili na maana ni mtoto wa miezi miwili huyu kawaida tunajua ni mtoto anahitaji maziwa na hawezi inyonyeshwa na nyanya yake ni maziwa ya dukani kwa hivyo ambia jirani nataka tunulie mtoto maziwa ambia jirani vile nakwambia 
nataka tunulia mtoto maziwa Bwana Yesu asiwe sana kwa hivyo utarudi kwa mfuko wako uweze kuandaa maziwa paketi kadhaa haleluya na hiyo maziwa natumia si KCC hapana ni special Bwana tusaidie sana lakini don't despise that little that you have together it will bring a blessing sawa sawa kwa hivyo naomba tusimame kwa miguu yetu naomba tuinuke juu kwa wale ambao hawana cash wa pesa yako iko kwa simu ningependa nikupatie namba ambayo utatuma kwake si yangu ni ya jamii okay kwa wale ambao wanataka kutuma through the phone this is the number 0722 ni zile za zamani wengi wana 021 2328 hii ni tutu 0722 I repeat 0722825741 ile jina utapata ni Francis Karanja ukipata jina ya mama imepotea ni Francis Karanja itakuwa imefika nyumbani amen kwa hivyo kwa wale ambao wameshika sadaka zao kwa mikono zao ningeomba nilete mtumishi wa Mungu aweze kushukuru Mungu uh, kwa ajili ya sadaka hiyo hebu tuombe ushike sadaka yako kwa mkono wako ili tuweze kuiombea pamoja Our loving Father and God we want to thank you even for this time that you've brought us into we want to thank you for the blessings that you've brought our way and out of the financial blessings that you've given us we are holding part of what you have given us as we contributed Lord towards a noble cause we pray that God as we give this to this family that whatever you shall give it shall multiply and be a blessing to that family we pray lord even for each one of us who has given that lord god you may continue blessing us and give us the heart to continue blessing and supporting others in similar or needy situations we thank you and we praise you we dedicate it to you in the name of jesus christ you have prayed and believed amen naomba tuketi mifuko ile niko nayo hapa ni michache kwa hivyo nina mifuko mine naomba the workmates oh yes come four mtu akikuletea karatasi ya ya blue ama ya red usimweke angalia karatasi ile anatumana uletewe sawa sawa hata mtu akikuletea kofia usikubali
Ningependa tuweze kuwabea jamii Kwa hivyo nitaomba jamii karibi hapa mbele uh, Jamii yote mbili ya msichana na ya kijana Family members please come. Wachungaji together with us Please come yangu, Lafiki yangu wewe Katika safari yangu tatembea na wewe pamoja pamoja karibuni na wewe pamoja pamoja na wewe katika safari yangu tatembea The Bible says, unless the Lord build a house, the builders will only do it in vain. Unless the Lord watches over a city, the watchmen will watch but in vain. And that is why we want to commit the both families unto the Lord. Because all of us will depart. But the Lord will remain with them. God will uphold them. God will visit them. And be with them. From this day forward. He will wipe away their tears. He will bless them and be with them. In our absence, God presence will be with them. This is why we want to commit them unto him. That he may remain with them. For those who are going back to Bomet, that God may go with them. For those who are going to the city, that God may go with them. And them that are remaining, 
Lord to remain with Mungu abaki pamoja na wao. Because God is our refuge. Bana Mungu ni kimbilio letu. And God is our strength. Na Mungu ni nguvu zetu. Our present help in time of need. Msaada wetu wa karibu wakati wa uhitaji. This is the God we believe in. Hii ndiye Mungu ambaye tunamwamini. So I want to welcome the servant of God. Kwa hivyo nataka nimkaribishe mtumishi wa Mungu. Pastor Albanas. Pastor Albanas. Albert, Al- sorry. Albert, sorry, Albert. To commit them before the Lord. Our pastors, let us surround them. Let us zingire huko nyuma wa chungaji. As we as we are standing with them. Tunapasema pamoja na jamii. And God bless us. Na Mungu atatubariki. Amen. Amen. Asante. Eh, ninaomba wengine tuanyoshe mikono hivi ishara ya kwamba tutasimama pamoja nao hata tukiwa tumeenda kwetu. Hebu na tuombe. Baba katika jina la Yesu hakika tunakushukuru Jehova kwa sababu umekuwa msaada wa karibu kwa kila mmoja wetu na hatungefikiria ya kwamba tungeenda hadi mahali penye tumefika kwa uwezo wetu lakini kwa sababu umesimama pamoja nasi umemtumia kila mmoja wetu akaweza akawa wafaraja katika familia hii wanaweza kusimama kwa sababu ya uwezo yenye unawapa na ninakushukuru kwa sababu Ayubu katika sura ya nane mstari wa moja anasema ya kwamba bado Mungu atarejesha kijeko katika maisha ya mwanadamu. Tunajua kwamba Ayubu alikuwa anapitia machungu mno. Lakini asante kwa sababu tunaposoma pale mwisho katika kifungu cha mlango wa 42 tunaona ya kwamba Mungu ulipata ukamrejesha hata amani na watoto na yale yote ambayo walikuwa wamepoteza. Hakika tunakushukuru kwa sababu hakuna yeyote mwenye anakutumainia mwenye ataenda akilia. Ninakushukuru Jehova kwa sababu hata majonsi yenye kila mmoja wetu amepata kulia baba ume, umeangalia. Una, unapanguza na hata unatupa tumaini. Siku ya leo Jehova wakati ambapo tunaenda hata kumpa uh, buriani ya mwisho uh, dada wetu John ninakushukuru maana ninajua kwamba alikuwa na mume Steve Alikuwa na mtoto mwenye amemwacha akiwa na miezi miwili. Alikuwa na wazazi na alikuwa na wale ambao ni ndugu zake. Jehova tunakulilia. Na tunaomba ya kwamba pengo ambalo Joan ameweza kuaja ni wewe Mungu mwenye utaenda hata kuijaza katika jina la Yesu. We want to thank you Lord and we want to praise your name. The Bible says in Psalm 62 verse number 11 that uh, one says the Lord spoken but twice have I heard that power belongs to him. How we pray that Lord even at such a time like this they will be able to feel you even in our absence. Lord I want to thank you and I commit them unto thy able hands. That Lord even as they trust you Jehovah they shall remain with the testimony that David was able to testify even in Psalms chapter 37 verse number 25 and he was able to say in his old age, old age that uh, I was young but now I'm old yet I have never seen his righteous one being forsaken by the Lord. Neither have I seen them uh, begging for food. How I pray that Lord even this word will remain to be true. May you surround them oh my father. I want to thank you Jehovah because you are giving them even uh, a wonderful moment even as they are just to live without Joan. Lord I want to thank you that Lord even as the reality comes and dawns on them that Lord even she is no more. Even when we put our trust in you we will be able to see one another. How I pray for them that Lord even at such a, uh, a moment like this as we are going to bury Joan thank you Jehovah because you are going to stand with them may you raise uh, the young baby and i want to thank you Jehovah because of our future life lord i want to pray that lord even as she she is growing up thank you because you will help her even to rise above every obstacles we want to thank you Jehovah and i want to pray even for the grandparents that lord even you will give uh, them sufficient grace we thank you Jehovah and we commit them unto thy able hands We worship your name and we honor you. I have committed each and every one of them before you. That Lord even for those who have known you and they have committed their lives unto you that you become their personal savior and Lord may you continue to be true to them. I want to thank you and I want to pray for those who have not uh, known you personally that Lord even this is the turning point that they have uh, they are supposed to come and know you personally. We want to thank you and I am committing them before you and it is in the name of the uh, God the Father God the Son and God the Holy Spirit and all of us we say amen amen thank you We can take our seats shortly, shortly. At this juncture 
wakati huu I would like to in, invite the both uh, the, the the person to give both of thanks. Ningetaka ni mwita baya anashukuru anatoa shukurani. Before we go to the kabla tuende kwa kipindi cha kingine. Okay, asanteni sana wachungaji. Bwana asifiwe tena. Yes, kwa ufupi tu, tunataka kutoa shukulani zetu kwa sababu kuwa vile tulivyo kufika mahali tumefika sio kwa uwezo wetu na sio kwa nguvu ya mtu mmoja. Na shukulani ya kwanza ni ya the almighty God Mungu wetu uh, baye alituumba na ameona vyema siku ya leo tuwe hapa ambaye hata hii siku aliandika miaka mingi sana na akaiweka na jinsi tulivyo na vile tulikuja alijua na kama vile tumesema yote ni kwa mipango na mapenzi yake so tunashukuru Mungu kwa sababu tangu hili jambo litupate tumefanya mambo mingi mioyo ilienda chini sana tukashindwa tuanzie wapi lakini baraka zake hazina kipimo alikuja akatuchukua tukiwa chini na tukapata mwanga hiyo siku ilikuwa na giza Mungu akaanza kutengeneza jia so tunashukuru Mungu sana na hasa hata siku ya leo tumesafiri tumetoka sehemu baribari wenzetu wametoka Bomet na wengine sehemu mingi na tukafikishwa na Bwana na hata hizo siku sote tumekuwa na shughuli mingi na kila jambo tumepanga Mungu ameifanikisha na tumeweza kuifanya vyema so tunashukuru Mungu tupigie Bwana makofi kwa hayo thank you very much Shukurani za pili ni za kwa kanisa ambayo hatungeweza bila uwepo wa Mungu tukiongozwa na kanisa watumishi wa Mungu vikudi baribari pale e, e, vika ngoigwa tulikuwa tunaongozwa na kanisa ya Catholic ambayo inaitwa St ben, Bernadette na wakiwa na fadha wao Leonard Okuku na jumuiya ya St John Paul the Second Hakuna siku wamekosekana pale na wakafanya mpaka misa na kika tumebarikiwa sana mioyo yetu imeinuliwa. Najua pia pale Bomet kanisa ya AIC AIC churches wamefanya kazi mingi wamekusanyika ndio tuko mpaka na siku ya leo tuko na mchungaji hapa na tunashukuru sana kwa sababu hiyo kushikana na watu wakakuja pamoja uwepo wa Mungu na ukapata jia ndio tukaweza kufika mahali tumefika. Uh, pia tuko na kanisa zingine mingi kama Redeem Churches ambao imetuongoza siku ya leo tunashukuru Bwana. Na pia kanisa zote ambazo zimekusanyika siku ya leo na wote wametusaidia wametushikilia Mungu ni mmoja yule tunayeamini, Muba wa bingu na nchi. Bwana wabariki na wachungaji wote, viongozi wote wa makanisa. May God bless you na washirika wote pia tuko na familia bazo tumeshikana sana tumekuwa tukiulizana maswali tukikutana na kama kuna siku tulikuwa pale Bomet na tunashukuru sana tukawa na mikutano so Bomet na hapa Kiambu uh, pale Kiambu tuko na familia wengine wametoka pale baribari tumeona hata wengine wametoka uh, Kajiando na Makueni wote kuna kazi kubwa tumefanya kuja pamoja tukijadiliana tunapigania simu bomet vika vika bomet tukapanga mambo na hakika vitu kama programs ama t- by the third day tulikuwa hata tumeshamaliza kuipanga ni kwa sababu ya kuelewana na kukubali Mungu kutengeneza jia so hakika muweze kubarikiwa sana kwa yote ambao umetenda na pia kuna wa neighbors ambao pia hakuna siku wamekosekana both side pale Vika na huko Bomet wamekuwa kitushikiria hapa Vika kuna uh, wa closest uh, neighbors ambao wanajiita Kisiwa West na the surrounding neighbors hakuna siku pia wamekosekana wametushikiria sana na pia marafiki na wale wote wanafanya kazi na watoto wa Francis tuko na wale wanafanya kazi na Evans Tuko na wale wanafanya na Steve na tuko na hawa wana, walikuwa wanafanya kazi na Joan kutoka jamii Telecom na wengineo na pia Kenjin may God bless you 
mume tu support na tukishikana sisi wote pamoja na kanisa na, na neighbors tumeona ya kwamba ile budget tulikuwa nayo Mungu alitusaidia ikafika na hata tumeona hata siku ya leo tumezidi na tumepata hata kitu ya kununulia mtoto maziwa so may god bless you pia tuko na wana yudhi wetu ambao wamefanya kazi mzuri sana tunawaona wakisunguka huku wametuwekea hema hapa wametutengenezea mahali tunaenda kulaza mtoto wetu pale tuliwaacha wakiangalia magari wamefanya kazi kubwa sana Mungu awasaidie wa wakati wako na nguvu e, wasaidie wafanye kazi kwa sababu hiyo miaka Mungu amewapea amewapea wae na jetik wafanyie Mungu kazi kabla wafikishe miaka yetu so god bless you all youth vijana wetu wakiongozwa na wale wazee walikuwa wamechaguliwa kuwaongoza bwana wabariki mmefanya kazi jema sana uh, pia tuko na committees ambazo zilikuwa zinakutana pale bomet na hapa dhika na kila siku tumnekutana tunajadiliana tulikuwa tunatoka usiku sana na mambo yote yameenda vizuri kulikuwa na kuelewana kusaidiana kuinuana kutafuta watu kuongeza kwa hizi zile group zetu na diposa tumeweza kupata fedha za kulipa mahitaji yote ambayo ilikuwa bere yetu tunapotoka hapa tunatoka bila madeni ni kwa sababu committee zilisimama ne Mungu akawa aka katikati na ametupea ushidi so god bless you our committees from bomed from vika na other committees wengine wale hatujui hata pengine hapa mulanga ili hii kazi ifanyike najua mlikuwa mnakutana Mungu awabariki wa sana na watendee mema. Ya mwisho ni ya sisi wote kwa sababu tulikuja, tulipata nafasi, tukaweka mambo yetu kando na tunajua kuna wengine hata wamekuja kwa mtandao, wanatutazama kwa mtandao, wameweka mambo yao kando, kuna wengine wametoa na wamefanya mambo mingi na hawakuweza kukuja wote ambao wameshikilia kwa vyo vyote vile ya kwanza ikiwa ni maombi Mungu awakubuke katika maisha yenu yote mambo yote ambayo mnayatenda Mungu awatendee mema awakubuke na endelee kuwaongoza na wakati wote mtakapomuita na wewe atakuja haraka kuwasaidia kwa sababu anatuambia tenda yangu na mimi wakati wako na ukija nitakutendea yako na ninapomalizia nitasema ya kwamba from the a verse from book of Psalms uh, Psalms 23 verse 6 which says nataka tushike roho zetu tu, sababu ya ile kazi tumefanya mzuri na Mungu akatufikisha hapa hii ni baraka ambayo Daudi alikuwa anajitabiria he prophesies blessings na inasema ya kwamba surely tutamtarudia nyuma yangu surely goodness and mercy will follow me all the days of my life and i will dwell in the house of the lord forever evermore may god bless you let us give a clap to him tumpa kofi mazuri now time has come wakati umefika for us to wind up ili tuweze kumalizia so i request those uh, the poor bearers na auliza wale watabeba jeneza to come closer waje karibu and i have one request na niko na jambo moja nahitaji kutoka kwenu as you look the the the, the, the maize plantations tunapoangalia kuna mahindi yamepandwa ama shamba the maize is not ready mahindi hayajakuwa tayari let us preserve food wacha tu tunze vyakula let us not step on the maize tusikanyage mahindi or the beans or anything that am, is ama maharagwe ama chochote kimepandwa yes let us take care tuchukue tahadhari and god bless us na mungu atubariki there is a path we are going to pass kuna barabara tutapitia hapa so please poor bearers come forward kwa hivyo wanaobeba jeneza wakaribie wakaribie wanaobeba eh mnaambiwa hata watu wa bomet you can help tafadhali men 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 from bomet you can also assist yeah 
Men from Bomet, men who hapa, tafadhali tusaidia nini? Kwa tukufa Mungu. Where are you young men? Brother Karioke, your leaders with the song number 5. No, number 3. Utapokota na wimbo namba 3. Ya kutumaini. Ya kutumaini. As we go to the grave. Tunapelekea pale kaburini. Na kwa sababu mahali pale si mbali si lazima twende wote. Amen. Ndio tuweze kutoshea. Hebu twende wale ambao wana uwezo wa kwenda ku, kutusaidia kufanya hiyo kazi. Sawa sawa. Yes please. Cha kutumaini sina ila damu yake Yesu sina wema wa kutosha dhambi zangu kuziosha cha kutumaini sina ila damu yake Yesu sina wema wa kutosha dhambi zangu kuziosha kwake Suna si mama die mamba ni salama die mamba ni salama die mamba ni salama ona muya ke na sadaka na tege me andaima ote sini akisha ukozi ete ni tosha Okay, thank you. Okay. In the book of 1 Corinthians, katika kitabu cha Wakorintho wa kwanza, chapter 1. I mean chapter 15 verse 51. Moja, the Bible says, nasema, Behold I show you a mystery. Siri, we shall not all sleep. Wote, but we shall be changed. In a moment. Kwa munda mfupi, in the twinkling of an eye. Kwa kufumba na kufumbua kwa jicho. the last trumpet. Na katika tarimbia tayabuja. The trumpet shall sound. Mana ta Italia. And the bed shall be raised incorruptible. Na wafu atafufuliwa kwa kutuharibika. And we shall be changed. So when this corruptible shall put on incorruption. And this mortal shall have put on immortality. Then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written. Then they swallowed up in victory. O death. 
wewe kifo wewe is your sting wapi kudunga kwako kutoka oh grief kaburi ewe kaburi wewe is your victory wapi ushindi wako the sting of death is sin ushindi wa wa kifo ni mauti and the strength of sin is law na nguvu ya sin ya dhambi ni sheria but thanks be to god lakini ashukurani kwa mungu who give us as the victory through our lord jesus christ what is paul telling us as he was telling the corinthians paul anatuambia nini kama alivyokuwa anaambia wa korinto he is telling us that jesus christ is coming anatuambia kwamba yesu anarudi and when jesus comes na yesu akirudi there will be a sound sound of a of a trumpet akua na sauti ya tata and all of them that are in the law shall hear it na wote watakuwa uhai watasikia within a twinkling of an eye katika kufumba na kufumbua jicho the bible says we shall be changed bibilia inasema tutabadilishwa all the living believers wale waaminiyo wote shall be changed watabadilishwa the dead in christ na wale waliokufa katika kristo like john kama john The Bible says they shall resurrect. Bibilia inasema kwamba watafufuka. They will hear the trumpet. Watasikia sauti ya tarumbeta. In the graves. Katika kaburini. And they shall resurrect. Na watafufuka. And we will see them. Na tutawaona. And then together we shall be changed. Pamoja tutabadilishwa. Inseparable. Katika kuto hatuta eh tenganishwa. And we go together. Na tutaenda pamoja. With our Lord Jesus Christ. Pamoja na Bwana wetu Yesu Kristo. So even though for now they are separated with us but. Hata kama sasa wametenganishwa na mumewe. The time is coming. Wakati una When they will be reunited wakati watakusanyika pamoja when Jesus appears Yesu atakapofika uh, Paul is telling us ba- ba- kuambia, we encourage one another with this word tutiane mmoja mwingine we shall not go ahead of them yakoba tutawatangulia so we shall be chain together lakini tutabadilishwa pamoja and we shall fly together na tutapaa pamoja and there be no more pain na hakutakuwa na uchungu tena there be no more pain hakutakuwa na kifo tena there be no more mourning hakutakuwa na kukuongoleza tena no more tears hakuna machozi tena that is where we are going to huko ndio kwetu naelekea going back to uh, going back to the garden of tukirejea shamba la edeni living with god as he lived with adam kuishi baba na mungu kama alivyoishi na adam so, this time of tears is just for a moment hapo wakati wa machozi ni wa muda tu but when jesus comes lakini yesu akija we will forget tutasahau the tears machozi ambayo tulipata ipaza maana tatufunguza machozi god doesn't stand with us tuliza na kusimama nasi blesses with the na, na tubariki na baraka pray hebu tuombe Father in the name of Jesus. Baba katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Nataka kushukuru kwa wakati huu. Tunapoteremsha mwili wa dada yetu Joan. We plead the blood of Jesus. Tunanena damu ya Yesu. Upon this house katika nyumba hii. Which has been prepared for her. Ambayo imeandaliwa kwa ajili yake. In the name of Jesus. Katika jina la Yesu. We rebook every evil spirit. Tunakemea kila maro machafu. That comes from the grave. Ambazo hutoka makaburi. Visiting people at night. Yakitembelea watu nyumbani usiku. to visit the homes that tuna kuamrisha usitembelee nyumba hii and remain in the grace forever na unyamaze kwenye kaburi milele that we plead the blood of jesus na nena damu ya yesu upon this grave katika kaburi hili we pray for peace naomba amani to the to the family kwa familia we pray for peace tunaomba amani neighbors kwa, kwa majirani we pray for peace tunaomba amani to the in laws kwa wa wale wa mashemeni wageni wote na marafiki na jina lako linulive in the name of God the Father kwa maana hii tumeuliza katika jina la baba ngo maana ngo the holy spirit na ngo mtakatifu amen 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 thank you chako tu maini sina ila damu ya kebwana sina wema wa kutosha dhambi zangu kuziosha Kwake Yesu nasimama Bie mwamba ni salama Bie mwamba ni salama Bie mwamba ni salama Damu yangu iwe ndefu Yeye ni babu kofu Mawi bia ke ikiita Yesu 
chapter 11 verse 25 and 26 the bible says jesus speaking i am the resurrection and the life he that believeth in me though he were dead yes shall he live and whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die what is jesus saying jesus is saying he has the power of resurrection that uh, the bible says that he that believeth in him like John even though she may die she shall live how shall she live when Jesus comes he will resurrect her and so Live. And he continues to say, and whoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die. What does that mean? When Jesus comes and finds us alive, he will not taste death. We shall be changed and be like him and go with him. This is a true saying that them that believe in him, even though they die, they will still live. So death has no power. It has been overcome by Jesus to resurrect dead in him and then transform them living in him and we live with him praise I ask that we be given the, the soil ok to underline his veto Bwana yusemu yangu Rafiki yangu wewe Katika safari yangu Rafiki yana wewe Bwana yusemu yangu Rafiki yangu wewe Katika
Praise the Lord. First, we are giving to the pastor. Pastors, come closer. Pastors, come closer wherever you are. Get the soil. Pata mchanga. Wachungaji wote. Wherever you are. Wachungaji wale wakoko njima kujeni tu. The seven, the second group. Wait. When you get your second, wait. Goja. 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 Yeah. Tomo. So first it is the pastors. Yes. And then the family. And then we give the chance to the old. Who cannot be through, who cannot use the survey. So that we may leave the youth to continue. So let us pray. Our Father and our God. As it has pleased you. To take the soul of our sister John. Here we stand to live. Uh, to, to, to take back the body to the soil according to what you have commanded us. And therefore, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, may soil go back to soil until the day of the, of the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ when the body shall be resurrected to glory in Jesus name so the, the family member please family members wale yes let us come close the family. Leni Jami, Rusha Tumchanga. Yes, yes. Family members. What were Jami? What were Jami a certain? What were Jami coming with Jami and Lea too? What were Jami and Len? Nafasini Jami. When you throw the soul, please take a step forward uh, backward. Mukisha Rusha Changa Runini Makidogo. Do we have the old? After the family. Bada family wale wakongwe aged people. Wale wana umri mzuri and they'd like to bury John. Na wangetaka kumzika John. They have come to do that good work. Wame kuja kufanya hiyo kazi akina shoshua akina guka. Let them receive the soil. Waje wapate okay mchanga. Grandmothers and grandfathers. Babu na nyanya. Let them come. Yes wakuje. It is your day. Ni wakati wenyu. May God bless you for coming. Asante kwa kuja kwenyu. Mungu abariki sana. Wale wa shosho tunawangajia tu na ma grandfather. Just go on. Kuna hile shosho wanye shwenji ya kuje. And don't go far. Na musiende bali. Don't go far. Come. Musiende bali. Wacha huyo shosho wa kuja wafike wa zewe. Wote wafike. Wafungulia ni jia tafadhali wa wale wa kongo ya kuja wafanya kazi hiyo. Thank you very much. Kujeni tu wale wa bakia kujeni. Yeah. Yes. Yes. God bless you. God bless you. Aze wata karibuni. Eh, asante, asante. Yes. Kama kuna jamii anabaki. Kama mtu wa jamii amebaki. Thank you. Sara Bandio Asiri Amema to Napa 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 to Family, all family members. Sarabandio, Assyria, Mema, Nita, two, three, Zigo, all the others, let us take the shovels. All the others to go to Mijiko to find a Kazi, to say the Anne, what are they going to do to Mijiko to say the Anne? Junico, to wish a Papu, and Sarabandio, Assyria, Mamma, 
on the grave of Joan. Many times it is not understood the meaning of the cross. Jesus commanded us to carry our own clothes. Amen. Amen. He commanded us to carry our own clothes. The moment you give your life to Jesus, that is the time you commit yourself to carry the cross. The cross is a sign of pain. Uchungu. Because Jesus felt pain. Mana yesu alihisi uchungu. It is a sign of judgment. Ni, ni ishara ya hukumu. It is a sign of death. Ni ishara ya kifo. It is a sign of temptation. Ni ishara ya majaribu. It is a sign of many many things. Ni ishara ya mambo mengi. John carried the cross until the end. John alibeba msalaba mpaka mwisho. And so when the cross lies on this grave. Na kwa hivyo msalaba unapolala kwa kaburi hili. It shows that she carried the cross until the end. Inaonyesha alibeba msalaba mpaka mwisho. Even though there are people who are whose graves are carrying the crosses but they never knew Jesus. Hata kama kuna watu wamebeba kaburi zao zimebeba msalaba na hawakujua Yesu. It is a pity. Ni nzuri sana. So I request the pastor to come forward. Kwa hivyo nauliza wachungaji waje hapa so that we may uh, plant this tuweze kusimika huo msalaba. Please come. Njoni wachungaji We are planting this cross in the name of the Father and God the Son and give that chance to the uh, MC. Tunapatia hiyo nafasi MC. Check. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Asante tumefika wakati mwingine mwema. Wa kuweza kuwekelea maua. Asante ni sana kwa kuweza kuongoja di wakati huu. Uh, kuna maua tofauti, kuna maua kuna ua la kanisa, kuna ua ambalo ni la Steve wazazi wote kutoka pande mbili kuna walao pia alafu kuna maua ambayo yatatolewa moja moja watu waweze kupewa ndipo sa baadaye tuweze kupanda sote alafu kuna ua la jamii telecom kwa hivyo naomba tuanze na ua ua la kanisa wachungaji waweze kupatiwa ilo ua waweze kuwekelea pastors all ministers all ministers please come close next to the, to the, to the, to the cross here Thank you. Thank you. Alafu ninaomba ah tuweze kumpatia Steve nafasi aweze kuja. Eh. Just slowly, you can just place it slowly. Thank you. Then tunaomba wazazi wazazi kuna ua la wazazi ambalo limeshikiliwa pale pande zote wazazi wa pande zote wazazi wa pande zote karibuni sana mweze kuwekelea ua tukijitia moyo ndani ya Bwana na kuwa kuna siku ambayo inakuja tutaweza kufunuliwa sote pamoja asanteni sana wazazi Mungu aweze kuwabariki kuna ua la jamii jamii telecom tafadhali Uh, jamii Telecom tunawakaribisha Jamii Telecom awe maua mengine yaweze kutoanishwa naomba maua mengine yaweze kutoanishwa tafadhali
Thank you so much, Jamie Telecom, for your uh, consideration. May God really bless you. We have Ua, your uncles, na aunties, show shows, all extended, all extended. Uh, that flower is here with us. Please, aunties, uncles, show shows, all extended. There's a place here. All extended, there's a place here. Cousins. Aunties, uncles, show shows, all extended families who are present. There's a space at the front, at the front here. the other flowers please supply them supply them just supply them too mm. okay. hivyo naomba ungoje kidogo ndio tuweze kuombewa baada ya kuombewa naomba Mrs Ngige ama mama Njoroge aweze kukaribia Mrs Ngige mama Njoroge Mrs Ngige thank you well, Mrs Ngige is here so that she can pray for our food then after she prays for our food the man of God is going to pray for our journey then we will be left planting the flowers that we have Okay let us pray our dear heavenly father we want to come before thee we thank you and we praise your name thank you lord for this far you have brought us you have walked with us you have brought us to the end of resting Joan. We pray for your peace and grace and even that understanding that that is beyond in the human understanding. Thank you, Lord, for everything. We bless the food we are supposed to we are ready to take. You bless it as we take it. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you. Let us pray. Almighty Heavenly Father, in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, once more we come before you, thanking you and exalting you for being with us from the time that we started this journey, and even for being with us throughout everything that God was ahead of us. Your word tells us that we may plan, but the fulfillment of all things comes from you, and we thank you because you've brought us this far. And our Lord, we've laid our sister in the grave, and we are going to leave this place and go back to our homes. We pray, Lord, that God, you're going to continue comforting each one of us, more so the family, even as we leave and go back to our respective homes. We pray that God, you're going to grant us journey masses as we go back. We pray that God, you may fill us with your peace, even as we continue remembering our sister, Joan. We pray for those who are going to travel far, those who are going back to Bomet, God, we pray that you may cover them with the blood of Jesus Christ, that God, you may light their path, that no evil shall come their way in the name of Jesus Christ. Even those who are going to nearer places, even there we pray that God, you're going to cover the roads with the blood of Jesus Christ, that we shall not have any bad report from those people who are traveling from this place. We surrender ourselves, Lord God, to you and pray that God, you're going to be with each one of us and even as you remind us of this journey, that each one of us shall ultimately take. That God, we shall remain prepared. We shall remain in you. And that God, we shall live for you all the days of our lives. We pray that God, that peace that passes our human understanding, may remain with us, may remain in our hearts, and may continue guiding us into all that is true and good. And we pray that that blessing that comes from you, the blessing of God the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, that he shall remain with us and be with us now and even in the days to come. In the, na in the name of Jesus Christ, we have prayed and believed. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much for uh, coming. Thank you so much for each and everything that you have done. May God richly bless you. Now you're being left. Uh, we are allowed maybe to take photos and plant your flower as the food is being served. May God bless you and may praise and glory go back to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. And now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God 
and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. God bless you.